Yeah, good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> and welcome to the stream. So tonight we're going to be kicking off with some Helldivers 2. I want to start making progress into this, so we might stream this for the next, maybe tonight and tomorrow night. Maybe even the night after that, and then we go back to some Ruska Rain. Or if you've got any other suggestions, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to try and support or try and provide the content that you as the viewer are looking for. Quick little recap. For those of you that are not aware, I do have a YouTube channel where all of my past live streams get posted for your viewing pleasure fusion pleasure at a later date just in case you ended up missing a live stream and you want to know what we streamed previously we also have a discord if you want to be part of a community outside of the live streams a place to chill chat catch up and make some friends and then on top of that we are trying to reach 50 followers we gained four new followers recently and i really do appreciate the love and support i really would appreciate you reaching out to friends family sharing it on social media sharing it amongst your network trying to get the word out there trying to grow the channel or the community as much as possible to me that would mean a lot so i think without us messing around for too much longer i'm going to jump over to the main game get the sound and everything sorted up and we are good to go oh and i fixed the notifications so let me just try this There we go. Okay, so now the notifications work. And they are a lot louder. Lovely. Uh, so just to recap, thank you very much for Drag Petty, uh, Blue Basher, Alienese, and Flavor Dave, the more four most recent followers. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the love. Thank you very much. And JJ, how are you doing this evening, brother? Hope you're doing well. Again, I hope the music in this game is not going to be too loud. JJ, I'm going to count on you for some feedback. Not too bad. How's your day? I'm doing good, thank you. Doing good. Busy day. Like, I feel like my nap needs a nap, but <laughs> I'm good. Hey, what up, Maestro? How are you doing this evening, brother? Hope you're doing well. Doing all right? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Did you work today or did you actually get some rest today? Gonna be an early evening for you. You're working tomorrow, I'm guessing. three days in a row with 7 a.m. starts coming up oof yeah that's a rough one <laughs> yeah no brother like my day starts at 9 a.m. until 5 a.m. Monday to Friday like it's consistent there is no variation to it so it's kind of nice <laughs> Well, that's nice. So, earlier start, earlier finish. I mean, quarter to three, that's a nice time to end. You still got the whole of the afternoon and evening left. Thursday ever is seven to eight. Oh my God. Dude, that's rough. every week once a week my previous job yeah no um 
I've been lucky enough that all my jobs that I've had in the past have all been like normal times, like nine to five, etc., etc. Oh my god. I do get three days off after Friday, though. Now, is that inclusive of, like, Saturday and Sunday? Like, you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off? Or is that, like, inclusive of those two days? No, jeez, that I can imagine. Like, that's not... Like, the rest of the, the two days where you said you're working from 7 until 14.45, like, that's nice. That's fine. I can deal with that. That's, that's no problem at all. But the 7 to 8... Like, that's rough. Like, that's a long-ass day. Like, that's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> and it also depends on what you're doing for that time. If you're going to be on your feet, if you're going to be behind a computer. If you're on your feet for all that time, yeah, that's rough. All right, let's just quickly get this out of the way before I make the mistake again. On my feet for most of it. Nah, dude. Like, all the sympathy goes out for you. Like, the last time I had a job that required me to be on my feet was, like, in high school. Like, just a part-time job after school. Since that has been offered office work, so I've, like, <laughs> I've been spoiled in that regard, but... Being on my feet would suck. And you worked until 10 o'clock last night. That's rough. Like, that's insane. Next week I have a first night shift, three in a row. What time does the night shift run? Like, what time do you start? What time do you end? Let me rest a bit. Yeah, I can imagine that's something you're gonna want. Can't get to you. Twenty one forty five until seven in the morning. Like I've never been able to wrap my head around that. Like that's been something that I don't think I've ever been able to like get like I can't work through midnight. Like when the entire world is sleeping, like awake working. That boggles my little puny brain. JJ, do you at least work like normal hours or do you also work like these ungodly hours? Last reload. I suppose that's true. Like, I'm guessing just because I've never done it is maybe what makes it so different. I've worked night shift shifts before. Yeah, no, I haven't. I can be honest and say that I'm lucky in that regard. Never had to work night shifts, never had to work those ridiculously long hours.
my current position max i can do is 7 a.m till 8 p.m but usually it's around eight hours long and my previous job max was 6 a.m till midnight that's that's insane What the hell was that sound? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can fully imagine why you left. No, fuck no. I don't even know what it is that either of you guys do, but that just that alone sounds ridiculous. Wait, what happened? Oh, there was a follow alert. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> thank you very much for the follower. Um, Omniglur. Thank you. What? Omniglur. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. Thank you very much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. And sorry, yes, because for the remember, for the last couple of nights, my alerts haven't been working or I had the volume way too low. So when I heard it now, I was like, what's that? <laughs> Why are these sounds playing? <laughs> but thank you very much for the follow, man. I really do appreciate it. Don't judge me, JJ. I can already see you judging me. I can feel it. Oh, when I finish off this mission, we get back to the actual ship itself. Me? Judging? No, never. What? You? Judge? You'd never do that. <laughs> Um, when I get back to the ship, I discovered like a whole new part of the game that I completely forgot about. Like I keep wondering, you see in the top right, we get XP and then, or I'm just calling it cash. And then you get those like little green circles. That's, oh, I can't remember what they are now. Samples. I had no idea what samples or currency was used for because it doesn't unlock weapons. You use metals to unlock weapons and armor and that kind of stuff. So I didn't know what the fuck it was for. Until I checked all the panels inside the ship and I actually found what the fuck it was for. And there's an entire section that I missed out on. Fuck, sorry. Sorry, guys. I had to step away for like two seconds there, so hopefully I didn't die. Um, be right back. Okay, see you now. I will read your question now. Repeat your question now, Maestro. Just gotta blow up this thing. Oh, yeah, where we at? Uh, what build did you say you wanted to try next on PoE? I want on a crafting session again today. Um, I wanted to do the what the hell was the name of that build? Um, the seismic trap. The one that's a little bit delayed, but it's got the 
like it basically cleans up the entire screen that's the next thing that i want to try done on on poe that's the goal yeah either that or righteous fire but righteous fire i'm a bit concerned about because like you said it's it's kind of boring You made a righteous fire scepter. Nice. Uh. Objective nearby. Buy more than seismic chip. Okay, well then you make the decision. Which one do you think we should run? Seismic Trap or Righteous Fire? At least then you don't run around in circles waiting for things to die. True, true. Ooh, okay. Um, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to create you? Yeah? I'm confused. Get some! Get Seismic Trap is also more item dependent, whereas Righteous Fire can really be strong on a minimal budget. Minimal budget is what I prefer, you know that. I redirect fuel to Missile Silo. Okay, how the hell am I gonna do that? Okay, so that goes there. There we go. Okay. I actually just need to read what the fuck the objective is. Uh, turn all valves indicated by the terminal. 1A, 2A, 1B. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, that's that one done. Sorry, a lot of these missions I've never done before, so I don't actually know what needs to be done with them, so I'm still learning. Okay, that's two of them done, and the third one is up there. Well, that was it then. Let's go clean out one more post that's right ahead of us. And then we'll do a loop around to see if there is any shit we can collect on our way to extraction. Something fucked my shit. Hard. You off to bed, Maestro. Have a lovely evening for the man. Hope you get a good night's rest. And good luck tomorrow, bro. Okay, so these guys with rockets. I need to get to them ASAP. I have died twice now.
Let's get this shit closed off as soon as possible. Okay, now where did I die? I need all my shit back. Okay, got all my samples back. I hope, yep, I got seven. Uh, nothing there. Oh, fucking rocket launcher. I think that killed me twice. Okay, so I want to go there, there, and there, and then we'll head towards extraction. We've still got 23 minutes, so we've got more than enough time. Extraction is available. JJ, what are you thinking of the game so far, man? <laughs> yes. I'm eating. <laughs> That's all good, brother. Valid reason. I get you. I missed the shot. Now we're going to have big guys coming in. Or at least bad guys coming in. It's all good, brother. You enjoy your dinner. We'll chat when you're finished eating. Samples. 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 Nice. Okay, on to the next one. Which is that post. We've actually got quite a couple of things out here. We've got that post. We've got one in between us over there. And then the one further. We might check all three of them. It does look like we've got the chance to. We've got the time. No. Come on, super credits, super credits, super credits. Yes, super credits. Only 10. Yep, 10 is fine. So super credits are the things that you buy with real world currency in order to unlock certain cosmetics or certain guns. But I do like the fact that I can actually find them in game. I don't need to buy them with real world money. More super credits. And ammo. Stims. Actually, heal myself up. Grab some more stims. I guess we're full up on guns, bullets, ammo, grenades. I said guns, ammo, and bullets like it's three different things while the gun and the... Ignore me. Like, I'm not a complete idiot, even though I sound like it 80% of the time. There's something here. Is it just me, or does things seem very calm? I know I'm playing on an easy run. seems to calm like it really does but i also know that the calmness is also dependent 
on how many people you've got in your run. And I mean, I'm running solo, so it's also going to make things a lot calmer. And it is also an easy run, so it's not trivial. It's not easy. Well, it is easy. And the next run, I'll do a medium run. See how that goes. But I do like the fact that I can basically farm super credits on an easy or trivial run. Because there's not much shit that actually shoots at me. Anti what? Oh, it's the same gun as what I've got. No, thank you. I'll take mine. I've got more ammo in mine. Okay, let's get to extraction. Because I think I have got all of the yellow points. Yeah, I do. Seems to come. Wait. Did I say beer? No? Why? Why are you thinking of beer? What happened? Say beer, go back. Okay. Ooh, wow. How about a nice cup of liver I don't know what just blew me up there. Okay, where did it say beer? Over here or somewhere else? Yes, they do. Near that in the middle. Hold on, let me deal with this quickly. Okay, so you're talking about this thing, right? Oh, this one. Yeah. Case of democracy drafts, premium light beer. Please refrain from operating heavy machinery while consuming this beverage. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. Okay, big boy's down. Oh god. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, they're all dead. That ship reminded me of Avengers. Whose side though? Enemy or... Okay, I don't have the ammo to fight them, so... Deploying equipment package. Like from which Avengers? Like what kind of ship are you referring to? Are you referring to the part where like um, Thor returns to the fight on Wakanda? 
are you referring to like the drop ships that they used like in the first Avengers? Bro, if you're gonna nerd with me, you need to end game. Mm. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> you can't pinpoint, you just know that it gave you Avengers vibes. Okay, so I want this, 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 this. We're gonna put you right there. And uh, where's my big thing? Wait, don't I have my big thing anymore? No, I don't, by the looks of it. seen them loads but ages ago yeah i can't remember the last time i also watched one of the new avengers movies oh sorry not new but like i haven't watched the the avengers or actually any of the like marvel movies in a while whether it's iron man or spider-man or whatever i haven't watched any of them in a good little while Dude, I just, yeah, you're right, just a person does not have the time anymore to be able to do it. Doctor Strange. Oh, I haven't even seen the new Doctor Strange movie. about that and that's one movie i really do want to see i think that's going to be absolutely phenomenal Ryan and Hugh together. I thought Hugh Jackman said he was never going to go back to the role of Wolverine. Or were they able to convince him? him that's freaking amazing i wonder how much of the convincing was actually done by ryan reynolds Yeah, but still, I think one of the best decisions that Ryan Reynolds ever made was, god damn, I barely did anything. Um, one of the best decisions Ryan Reynolds ever made was fund a lot of the Deadpool movie, the original one himself. Nobody believed in the character. Nobody believed in what Deadpool was. 
It was a very niche character. And I'm sorry, you're going to get a lot of people that are going to bullshit and say, no, they knew about Deadpool. A lot of people had no idea that Deadpool was actually part of that universe until it was introduced by Ryan Reynolds. And then after the fact, people realized like, oh shit, this is actually a thing. I mean, there's comics where um, like Venom tries to merge with um, Deadpool. And where Venom actually lets go of Deadpool because Venom was like, nah bruh, this guy's mind is too fucked. Welcome back. Welcome. Oh, this is the part that I wanted to show you. So, I don't know how well you know Helldivers. Do you know Helldivers at all? Have you been watching people? Have you been playing yourself? Tom Hardy as um, Bane was fucking amazing. And then in the Peaky Blinders as well. Tom Hardy's portrayal as one of the Bob mob bosses in the Peaky Blinders. Fucking phenomenal work. And then there was that movie where he played two roles, the two brothers. One was like mentally fucking challenged and he just wanted to kill everything. And the other one was the same brother. Oh, what was that movie's name? So I need one more medal, then I can claim this piece of armor. So it'll make me quite a bit slower, and my stamina region will be quite a bit slower, but my armor rating is going to be a lot higher. And then I can buy a new cape, a new helmet, a new sidearm. But the whole point I wanted to mention was this shit. This is where this comes into play. And I never knew that. So I can upgrade my stratagems. As to what kind of stuff gets called down. Orbital strikes, strafing runs from... As you can see, fucking strafing guns from sh ships that fly over. Or just an orbital smoke strike. So it just covers it so they can't shoot me. EMS strike, gas strike... Tesla Tower. Supply pack. I want this badly. So I'm trying to get the cash for that. Because if I can carry my own ammo on my back. Along with the guns that I've got. That's going to be badass. Especially because I'm doing a lot of this solo runs. That's going to be pretty awesome. And then we've got a guard dog rover. A little gun that flies with me and shoots shit. Apparently this is pretty decent. Then we've got a ballistic shield backpack arc thrower and shield generator the shield generator might be pretty badass as well but i don't know how many of these things we can carry i don't know if i can carry two blue ones at the same time so this is all stuff i'm trying to figure out and then on the ship module we've got additional stuff like for example um synthetic i think it was this one yeah Reduces cooldown times for your sentry guns, emplacement and resupply stratagems by 10%. And there's targeting software, reduces deployment time by one second. Yeah, I never knew any of this shit existed. And that's just customizing my ship. The but I think I'm going to go back to the bugs. The spread of the Ooh, is incoming in message. Internet. Upon each barrier planet now stands a network of massive termicide dispensing towers. The termicide control system, once activated, the TCS will exterminate every terminate on that planet and inoculate it against all future infestations. However, surges in terminate activity have forced the Sieve, Super Earth something something, engineers to evacuate. Now only the Hull Divers can ensure the safety of our citizens. The terminate control system must be activated at any cost. Major orders. I 
I don't know what this means. Major orders represent the goals of the Haldava community. Okay. So if we go there. Okay, so there's four planets over here. The Termicide Towers on this planet await your activation. Termicide control system. Okay, there's only two minutes left in that one. If we do a medium run, there's 14 minutes left on that one. Nope, those are missions where there's already people. It's two minutes on that. Or is that... No, that's just the time. Uh... You know what, let's do a medium. Let's select this one. Loads hatches. And activate two minute control systems. Let's try this one on medium. Why not? Provide some liberty. Drop me right there. I'll take that, 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 and that. Equipment. We're good, we're good. Ready up. Out of all the games I've played so far, JJ, like which ones did you actually enjoy? Like you could actually see yourself playing. Or haven't I really played a game like that yet? You put hypercharged on your wish list. Nice. Very nice. How am I going to get to that fucking tower? At the base. Mana lords I'm waiting for as well. right now then you'll have some more time occupied very nice prison architect i was never really like a massive fan on Damn, these things take long to activate. Uh, resupply. Down equipment package. 
like there's two games that I've uh, wishlisted. Actually, two games that were suggested to me by Maestro. Two games that I'm actually really looking forward to. One was Robin Hood. It's already out. I'm just going to buy it at the end of the month. I'm confused. So that's up now. Okay, I'm guessing those are the different batteries I need to activate. I don't know, I'm saying there's two games that I also have on my wish lists that I'm looking at getting as soon as possible. One of them is Robin Hood, and the other one is Wrath something. I'll have to show you what they look like. Battery silo. I'm guessing that's that far one. Yeah, Robin Hood. I'll have to show you what it looks like for you to understand it. It's weird. As in the TV show, but it's a game, and the game actually looks pretty fucking badass. Like, the moment I extract from you, I'll show you the, the trailer for it. It looks pretty fucking decent. I'll show you the trailers for both games that I want, um, as soon as I've extracted from you. Activate battery silo. I don't know how to. Get some! Get some! Maybe up there. Yes. Yeah, a lot of these missions I'm still trying to figure out, so I've got no idea how to really do them. Defend the battery silo. Alright, that sounds about right. Right. And because I did not restart that. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Please don't tell me if I restart that I have to start it from scratch. That's gonna suck. Because this might be one of those things that's gonna be really difficult for me. To do solo at least. Yep, I have to do it solo. I don't think that's gonna be something I can do solo. We've got a returning chatter. What up, brother? How you doing, man? You know what? While I've got the, all these bugs focusing on this tower, 
I'm gonna see if I can't activate the different tower. That's on 85%. I can't get it to get to the 100%. If it gets to 100% on its own, that's gonna be pretty fucking awesome. But I highly doubt that's gonna go 95, 96. It actually fucking made it. Don't ask me how it made it. It made it. Oh, that's all that's important, brother. That's all that's important. A training session, regardless of how useless it might have seemed to you, a training session is better than no training session at all. Hold on, I can't actually see it in the chat right now. Yeah, 100%. Anything is better than nothing. Where the hell is this thing's panel? Up there. Okay. Come on. Okay, that tower's done. One more tower left. And that's that big tower. I've got 28 minutes to get that done. This shit ain't fucking easy. Uh, nice. I've done hospitality work in the kitchen before. Loved every day of it. Yeah, 28 minutes, but I'm not sure how many times I'm going to die in that. I can only respawn. Re re respawn? I can only respawn four more times. And then I don't know what I need to do after I've completed the towers. Last reload. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and make my life a little easier. Let's reload everything. No guns left in that. Resupply. Deploying equipment package. Yeah, it is insane. So it's it's insane when you're looking down the actual sights. And I don't know if that's a setting that I can set to make the recoil less. Let's try and get actually. Uh, no, no, don't do it. Eh. Sending down sentry. That's a sentry gun. Hopefully, that helps protect this thing. 
Probably not. Oh my god. So free ammo. I'm gonna take it 100%. So I'm gonna reload this shit. Take that. Okay, now we need to protect this bitch. I wonder how much shit's gonna come over that hill. That sentry gun is still there protecting that side. And the sentry guns don't last very fucking long. Something's coming over that ridge. Nothing there yet. I'm just trying to run this side to see what's here. The sentry gun's got that side clean. Big guy. Big guy's dead. 80%. I should get this, no worries. Keyword should. Sentry guns look at that side covered. 25 minutes. Yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, we're looking comfy. Okay, so proceed to extraction site and initiate. Okay, I just ran straight into the... Now I need to go kill that thing so I can get my gun back. Episode of Simpsons with with commercials. Yeah, I've got the time. So I've got my liberator. This one's actually got more ammo. So I'll take that. Make sure everything is reloaded. And then where am I going? Okay, so I'm going to the center. Oh, just to extraction. I'm guessing that's by the big tower. Oh, and hey, Raswali, got another follower this evening. On 15. That is five new followers in the last, let's say, 72 hours. Yeah, pretty happy. And I was starting to get worried there at one point, because at one point, I don't know if you remember, we got to like a very like snail's place. Like in almost something like 18 days, we didn't have any new um, followers. So it was kind of nice. Thank you very much. Oh wait, am I missing something? Proceed to extraction site and initiate to. Am I not at the extraction site? Or am I missing something? Where the fuck is the extraction site? I mean, there's a big ass blue beam coming from the sky. I'm guessing the extraction site is that way. This is 100% a guess. Or seeing as bugs were coming from there, I'm guessing that that is. How'd you like to taste of freedom? Um. 
there's a button here. And I don't know what this button does. What am I doing? Well, there's a button. Push it. Let's see what happens. Connect battery silos to central tower. Oh, that's all the batteries that I just placed. Nice. Okay, let's... Uh, down, up, left, left, up. You go right there. Keep me alive, pretty please. Resupply, right there. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like a big can of raid that we're just shooting up into the air. Yep, we're literally just poisoning the atmosphere, killing everything. Sounds about right. No bugs on this side. So that thing blew up all my ammo, so now my ammo is lying everywhere on the floor. Take my drugs. This motherfucker has got all this armor plating on the head, and when it's facing directly at you, it's nearly impossible to kill. So I just throw grenades at it. Boss's way to deal with it. Drugs, 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 thank you. Oh, come on, how far is this thing away? I'm dead. Yep. Activate the extract. I never activated the terminal. I never actually. I never activated the fucking terminal. So now I have to try and survive for another. Oh my god, I'm an idiot.
I am a goddamn idiot. I need to get up there as soon as possible to try and reactivate that shit. Come on, sprint you bitch. I cannot believe I was that stupid. Can not believe it. Reload, reload. If I survive this while well, fucking done, I need to survive for a minute and forty four seconds. Guys, did. Big guy next to me. Don't abort, don't abort, don't abort, don't abort. Okay, I'm right here. God. Come on. No, nah, motherfucker, I'm not dying. But 30 seconds, I'm surviving this shit, watch me. No, 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 don't die, 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 please die. Don't die, don't die. Save me, save me, save me. No. Fuck, 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 fuck. The fucking jet was here. Okay, that was my own stupidity. I decided to hold out and fight bugs. Without actually calling in the fucking dropship. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I completed the mission I just didn't extract. Which sucks. What was my stats on that? And I had a 72% accuracy rating. 2,565 shots fired. And I still maintained a 70% accuracy. 340 kills. I died six times though. Well done. With the termite pumping, any bugs left down there are probably dead now. Welcome Fuck. aboard, Helldiver. Now but, it's like she says, with it pumping, I did probably... I think that actually counts as a mission success. Yeah, it counts as a mission success, even though I died. Because I was able to get the main objective done. Well, that's nice, at least. This operation is complete. You have served democracy well. Greetings, Helldiver. The galactic war awaits. Uh, I want to go back to the planet that I was busy with. The freedom of the galaxy remains. Like which planet was I busy with? Let us join the fight. Oh, it wasn't this one. Fuck, I can't remember what planet I was busy with. It wasn't this one. Oh god. 
Uh, this one? Yes, okay, so that's the next mission we're gonna do. And actually, I should have enough superstore. Ooh, that's pretty. I've got 85. I can buy the helmet if I wanted to. Oh, let's go war bones. Let's go normal. I can buy the new piece. I like that. So now, instead of us being a normal boy, now we're a chonky boy. Let's see if there's a better helmet that goes with this. Yeah, let's rock that. Let's go with the long cape, equip, and that's me. Yeah, boy. Hell divers to hell pod. I'm chonky. Okay, and now that we did that mission. Okay, so the currency went up. You see, this is where I've got a problem. I don't know if you've noticed, my level at the bottom has stayed at 2,448 for a bit. I'm going to do something quickly. These don't go anywhere. Just going to do this quickly. I'm going to quit the game. Remember that number, level 5, 2448. Level 5, 2448. Level 5, 2448. So I've closed the game. I'm starting up the game now again. Thank you very much. Okay, game started up again. So I still level 5. Oh. Okay, maybe it, maybe I was just being weird. Because what happened about, I think it was two days ago, the, um, the level counter and my money counter actually ended up getting stuck. Like it wasn't actually rolling over. You see, I took my armor, it didn't take my headpiece. And it didn't take my cape either. Equip, cape, equip. There we go. Okay, so the next one is find and destroy all termite eggs. Let's do that. Nah, I'm a chonky boy. Okay, I see there's a destroy rogue research station. So I'm going to try and drop relatively close to that. Deal with that first, and then go to the rest of the targets. I'm going to keep this gun because I don't like this one. Keep this. Mm, radius is less. Fuse time is less. Penetration. Oh, so this grenade is just better in every single way. Okay. Ready up. Let's go. It's still some of the most fucking cinematic entrances that I ever. I love it. The music and everything is just badass. Okay, so I want to head this way. Oh, 
Oh, hold on, before I go too far. Uh, machine gun. Now you see, these fancy ass rooms, I can't enter them because I can press the one button, but I don't have a friend to push the other button. <laughs> okay, so there's clearly a nest over here that I have to blow up. Oh, there's more than one. Catch. If this is how we're going to start, it's going to be a horrible run. And I have to get to those nests, otherwise they're just going to keep spawning more. Okay, let's get in there ASAP. And the shit thing is I've wasted one of my grenades. There's a whole nest over here. Resupply in the center. You go in there. That's one closed. Oh my god, I've got no ammo in this. Rookie mistakes, rookie mistakes. Last reload. One for you. One for you. For you, for you, and one for you. Okay, bug nest gone. Just like it's fucking intense, very really fucking quickly. Okay, don't waste my grenades next time again. And let's go find out what the fuck this research center is. And I honestly thought I was going to be a little bit more tanky against the damage, but nah, it still looks like like two or three hits fucks my shit. Dead. Oh my god. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? How do I blow this place up? Okay, so there's a nest literally right there. I need to go destroy that nest. But I'm not wrong in saying it said I need to take out this rogue research station, right? How exactly do I do that? There's an explosive barrel, but that one explosive barrel ain't gonna do shit. It's still on my map. Okay. The 
something specific I can call Inya. Oh, a hell bomb. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's call it a hell bomb. I'll definitely make sure this place doesn't exist anymore. Rose Wally, you ready for a good explosion? JJ, you ready for this shit, bro? I need to run, though. And run. I should be safe over here. I'm probably gonna die. Let's salute. Nice. Yep. Wait, I fucking destroyed everything? Destroy all facility buildings. Oh, I can call another one. Oh, fuck it. Call another one. Let's put it right there. Oh, please don't land on top of that. Please don't land on top of that. That works. Okay, let's watch another explosion. Okay, let's go clear out. Let's go actually do the mission that I'm here for. I'm being needlessly extra with this. Last reload. Oh, last reload. Okay, I'm not going in there yet. Sending down equipment package. Let's test the theory. So that sentry gun activates where I aim. So what happens if I heat that motherfucker down like deep within their zone? Yeah, that means that sentry gun's gonna be in there. That sentry's gonna be in there doing work. See? Fucking smart. IQ of 5. That's big brain stuff. Yeah, no, don't worry. I know 5's not high. Okay, area secured. Now we need to actually go onto these eggs. Because I'm wasting time. I've got 30 minutes. Let's try and get there. If I complete this mission, then that's one campaign that's done. And I should get nice XP for it. Only thing is, I don't know what these egg situations look like. I don't know what's protecting it. I don't know what's around it. And I'm a little scared. Because that's what I'm going into. There's something here. Mission has 30 minutes remaining. And there. Uh, off. Okay, I've got bugs to my right. Objective nearby. 
Um, this sucks. Kind of scary. Definitely not terrifying. Definitely not terrifying. Definitely not terrifying. Nope, this is fine. Definitely not terrifying. I don't know where the fuck the eggs are. I'm guessing those are the eggs. I had to destroy 31 eggs. What? I've got a broken left arm. Yep. This is definitely going to go well. I need to destroy all of those eggs. And that was my last reload. I don't have bullets left. And I'm not going to have a chance to be able to reload the big gun. Reload, 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 reload. Resupply. Shut that. No more can spawn. I want to shut off this one as well. How about a nice cup of liver tea? And then I want to throw one grenade right there. Please blow all of it. Okay, good one. Okay. Oh my god. Everything reload. Reload. Just get me the fuck out of here. Who the fuck decided to do this on medium on my own was a good idea. 
me because I'm fucking retard. That's why. Okay. Oh no, you can fuck off. I'm not trying to deal with any more bugs right now. I'm trying to get to the next bug location as quickly as I can. And I think I'm going to try and throw down some kind of support before the time. What do I have in the way of orbital precision strike, a sentry gun? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to throw the sentry gun deep. Then I'm going to throw in a precision strike. And then I'm going to try... And try and put grenades into the um, nest holes as quickly as possible to try and slow down the spawns and then run around in circles and try and deal with all the shit that has spawned. Flamethrower. Yeah, I'm rocking the flamethrower. I don't care if it kills me, I need to find out how good it is. Oh, nope, I'm not running in there. I'll run in the opposite direction because I want to get to the nest. Let's cook some bugs. So I've still got a big nest infestation to my right on the map. And a big nest infestation to my left. And I've still got another big one to the far left of that. So I might need to clear out those two left of me. Okay, but for now. I'm going to try to make my life a little bit easier. So, sentry gun. I want you deep inside there. Resupply port. I want you kind of deep in there as well. There we go. Time to run in. Let's go do this. I want to get to the nests first. Nests first. In there. First. First one. Done. Run, 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 run. Come on, die, you big bitch. You like Finally. Okay, let's get to the rest of the nests. Let's close off the nests first. Before I waste any more grenades. Oh no, that thing definitely wanted to chomp. Oh no, that thing definitely wanted to taste my giblets. Okay, there's the next nest. Catch. Okay, so everything is closed. Now I just need to get to those eggs. How long do I have? Because look at a minute and eight seconds for cooldown. One more grenade left. Canister is empty. Okay. I fucking feel like. The Americans in Vietnam just napalm everything. I got no reloads left. I need to get to that resupply of mine. I can't remember where that resupply was. Oh. 
It was over here somewhere, right? No. I came in from this side. So it has to be... Oh, fuck. How long for these supplies? Still 15 seconds. Machine gun sentry. You know what? Machine gun sentry might be good. I'm going to throw you in there. Maybe you kill the eggs for me. At shooting at something. What at shooting at fuck knows. Have a taste of democracy. Okay, let's get to the rest of the eggs. Okay, I handled that one a lot better than we handled the first eggs. Definitely handled a lot better. Mission complete. Nice. Okay, now my ass needs to get the fuck out of here. How long for reload on? Okay, we've got a whole wave coming in. Okay, that's all that done. Make sure everything else is reloaded. Stump packs, everything, we're good. I'm not going to bother with what's... Oh, there's the other one. That's what I was looking for. I'm not going to bother with that pack of insects that's off to my left. I want to get to the extraction zone. How long before I can put down the sentry gun again? 46 seconds. And this time... Don't be a fucking idiot. Actually start the goddamn countdown. Okay. Okay, so what can I put down? 30 seconds on the resupply. And 13 seconds on the sentry gun. Okay, you know what? We can live with that. Okay, let's get the machine gun down. Let's start this along. No. No. Let's drop the resupply. I killed myself with my fucking sentry gun. GG. I killed myself. Because that's how that shit works.
reload the shit straight away while I've got the chance. And resupply. And you know what? Orbital precision strike. I'm gonna hold this ready. Come on. Just give me the fuck out of you. Land, 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 land. Nice. GG. Now, JJ, Rose Wally, do you guys want to hear something that's absolutely fucking terrifying? Let me guess, disappointing. Oh, disappointing service. Ooh, I get... That's four, that's six, I get six medals. That's nice. That's completing both objectives. And I leveled up, I think. Yes, I did. I'm now level 6. Still a space cadet, so nothing spectacular. I'll tell you guys the, new the news now. So, you guys just saw how hectic that was, right? Like you said yourself, JJ, that thing definitely wanted to chomp on my ass. So, let's have a look at the stats quickly. 290 kills, 70% accuracy, not bad, one death. New difficulty unlocked. Okay, cool. So, I did that entire mission on medium difficulty. To what level do you think the missions go? Do you think it goes trivially easy, medium, hard, extreme? Nah. It goes, if you have a look at the bottom, underneath quick play, it goes trivial, easy, medium. That's what I just did the mission on. Challenging, hard, extreme, suicide, impossible, hell dive. Like, motherfucker, I was on medium. And my shit nearly got handed to me. That's one, two, three. I was playing on the third difficulty. There's nine difficulties. I'm six off of the top. Like, fuck me sideways. And yes, I do mean sideways. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. You need teammates for that shit. Okay, so I've got level five now question is what I want to unlock next let's change out my secondary cause my secondary I need to maybe try and use something else and then this is 100% premium currency so you need a premium war bond all of this shit you get yeah if you pay all of this shit I can get without paying and it goes all the way down to this motherfucker. It's an energy-based weapon. Does pretty decent damage. And then some nice armor sets and helmets, etc. 
not some bad looking shit. And then I also get Superstore. Now Superstore is currency that I can either find in game or I can buy currency. But I mean, as you can see, I've got 85. So I could buy this helmet if I wanted to. Because you can find 20, maybe 30 in each mission if you look hard enough. So you've got the option to use real world money. Or you can just farm it slowly in game, which I like. So it seems like this is the exact same armor that I've got. It's just a reskin of what I've got. And I ain't gonna lie, that reskin kind of looks pretty badass. And this helmet I've already got, it's also just a reskin. So if we have a look, let's take that. Let's take that. Let's take that. You see, already got the helmet. It's just a reskin. Yeah, so. I don't have the biggest issue with okay so if we take a game like path of exile path of exile you can spend a fuck ton of money on but you're never gonna be better than anybody else okay yes you can buy shit from no you can't because you can't buy any currency never mind ignore what i just said path of exile you can spend as much money on you as you want to but it's all cosmetic shit it's all cosmetic. You're getting no benefit in the game whatsoever. With this, it looks like there is cosmetic. But it looks like there is also some weapons and shit. And remember, this is only currency for Superstore. This is only for this. You need to pay money for this one. And in here... I don't know if these weapons are necessarily better than what you get in the normal war bond. So, for example, if we compare a shotgun over here. So this is a um, breaker incendiary shotgun. So damage is 180. And let's just let's just keep the, the three things in common. Damage is 180, capacity is 25, fire rate 300. Okay, that's premium. Now we go to the top and we go to one of the better shotguns. Uh, that's a submachine gun. There's a shotgun. Damage is 330. So damage is a lot more. Capacity is a little bit less. But fire rate is still more. So this shotgun outclasses that other one. But that other one is premium. Which I like. So they're not locking anything specific behind a paywall. It's more like they are taking reskins or different versions of guns and putting them behind a paywall. Yeah, nothing holds you back from progressing. I mean, in the little bit that I've played and what, I'm, I think it might be seven hours, eight hours in the game, all of the green stuff, I've unlocked all of them. And then I'm on to the second page because you have to spend a certain amount of medals to be able to move on to the next page. And the medals you get just from completing missions. And if you do up side objectives and side uh, missions, you get additional medals. Like, for example, this whole big thing that just started, if we go to the mission page. Every sector in the galaxy must so, be of the alien over here, the termicide, termicide dispensing top right. If everybody worldwide finishes off all these missions in the next six days and 15 hours every single person will get 50 medals and that's what i like about this is because it's not just you working towards a goal everybody wants to do it and because this is an event that's localized to this one piece of space it means everybody's doing it everybody's contributing towards it so for example there you go there's over 315,000 people currently contributing towards this fight. We've already done 6% of it, 5.8% of it. So I could, for example, now take, for example, a trivial run. Which is one mission. And as you saw there, 
the payment for that is only going to be one medal. But if I want to make my life a little bit easier, so let's take this one. I'm going to do this mission. But I'm going to do it on trivial difficulty. So I can make the game as easy or as hard for myself as I want to. And the reality is, because I'm going to be doing most of this to solo, I'm probably only going to be sticking to either easy or medium runs. Because we saw how difficult medium runs are. I'm guessing the higher difficulty you play, the more... You see, because it's my only thing, I've got nothing else in the area. It means I'm going to have 40 minutes to explore the area as much as I want to. So I could potentially get more super credits. So let's go ahead. That, 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 that. Ready up. So you can approach it how you want it. Do you want to focus on the main mission? Get it done and dusted as quickly as possible? Or do you want to go in there and farm the stuff you need to be able to upgrade your character? And your ship? Get your stratagems unlocked? Or that you need the samples? Death counter prediction? Fuck knows. Oh, in this one. This is trivial. I shouldn't die. This is a trivial mission. It's not easy. It's not medium. It's literally trivial. I shouldn't die here. But I've done stupid shit before. I was the one who said I shouldn't die on a tier 1 map. And I did. So, you never know. So as always, first things first, we get in our machine gun. Down support weapon. And I can take the gun, and I can increase my range. Now when I aim, I've got a bit more of a zoom. Grab the machine gun, now I've got that as well. And let's hit it. Got some more ammo. Got some more stims. So I know I need to go to the big tower in the center first. So now let's see the difference in payout, because I did this mission on, um, what was it? What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for words. There we go. Here's some common samples. Now the problem is, I don't know how to get the more advanced, advanced samples that you need for some of the shit. Okay, with now that being done. We're going to start with Tower 1. Tower 1 is right there. And then we're just going to go machine gun. Drop the machine gun sentry there. And then we're going to activate the silos. And you automatically see how much calmer it is. That thing's doing its job. Oh, I got a new secondary. Oh, it's an automatic secondary. Nice. So now we just keep it safe. And also because I'm running on trivial now. We're not going to have nearly as armored monsters. We're going to have the baby monsters now. Yeah, baby monsters. 
baby insects. And catch. Say hello to democracy. Bag's empty. It's a nice pistol. Very, very nice pistol. And you see, just like that, the first one's done. So you can literally control how difficult or easy you're going to make your life for yourself. But now I want to see what the benefits are of making it easier. And doing runs quickly, more consecutively, so you're not fighting as long. Or if there's actually a benefit in struggling. Why am I slowed? What happened? Oh, not slowed anymore. Because there has to be that cut-off point where it's just not worth it making it that difficult. At least in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Like, doing the hull dive, yeah, you get the, the, the bragging rights of being able to say you completed off a mission on the hull, hull dive difficulty. But, like, at what cost? Like, is it worth it to even do it at that difficulty, or not really? Like, you feel me, right? Like, it makes sense. Like, I'm not just, like, snorting shit out of my nose. I feel like something's attacking it on the other side. Yeah, there is. Okay, this is 86%, it is still stable, so I'm going to start moving over to the next one, because this is not going to be defeated in the next, what, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Yeah, I didn't think so. Obviously, I know that this is a lot more boring. Like, trust me, I fully get it. This is a lot more boring than the way we would like to go. Look, to have it more action-packed. We're trying to think about cost involved. energy versus reward because to say that I'm not I'm struggling right now would be a lie
Hmm, we're actually not unstable. It's still not being defeated, just didn't expect it to get too unstable. There we go, next one done. Proceed to extraction. And where exactly is extraction? Straight across that way. I don't think this armor that I bought is worth it because I didn't see any kind of like noticeable damage ne like negation from the bad guys like the monsters it's mostly only for explosions but the cost that it's got on me as in my movement speed and my strategy and my stamina replacing yeah it kind of shit though so I think I might go back to my other suit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, ten. See, playing all that rail gunner on Risk of Rain. My accuracy is on point, bro. Okay, so as you can see, that was absolutely difficult. I don't know how I was going to be able to survive that. We supply it there, and then... It goes there. Now we activate all these towers. And now we pollute the atmosphere and kill off an entire species of bugs just because they can be turned into oil, probably. Yeah, there we go. You're cheesing Mithrix a little bit. Ooh, how are you cheesing Mithrix? What you doing? And then I'll see you tomorrow. JJ, look after yourself, brother. Be safe. And I'll see you tomorrow, man. Thanks very much for being here. Appreciate it as always. Much love. What else can I throw just because I'm bored? Precision strike. Precision strike on what, though? Platforms, ramps around the arena. Nice. Are you outside or inside the blue circle? Oh, fuck it. That rock's gonna get a precision strike. Nice. See? Deadly. 
kind of outside you just died from i don't know what i think if you're outside the mm, I, what does it say killed you so whenever you die in the top right of your final death screen it tells you how you actually died either it was planet or you killed yourself or it'll tell you that matrix killed you etc etc it was matrix mm, he might have hit you with something from a distance And was not one of maybe the animation where he drops from the sky. That was the best engineer run I had. Engineer is the best, most OP character. OP. OP as fuck. So, I don't know if you realized with this run how absolutely insane this run was. Fucking sarcasm. I think it was the pulse thing he does. Could be. Could be. So now, let's have a look. So, that was a fucking walk in the park. Clearly. Nah, it's, it was a waste. Because I went on trivial. I went on the easiest difficulty you could run. Let's have a look at my payout. So I got 107 XP. So the XP ain't a lot. But it's the most I could earn. Outstanding patriotism. And I got a medal. Okay. Overall, I got 107 XP. And I made one contribution towards the actual planet. Now, let's see quickly when I get back to the ship. Let's see how much more. So stats-wise, it's amazing. Look at the difference. When there's a fuck ton of enemies, my accuracy is more. However, when it's like, only killed 95, my accuracy was only 66. So, pretty straightforward. Nothing spectacular there. So I've only got 2,827. So, I would need to effectively run that exact same mission 28 times to level up again. So obviously you, there's the benefit of the higher the mission, the more XP you get, the faster you level. And levels are directly related to this. So obviously as you can see, I really require level 10 for this. So level 20 for other things. But most of the good shit comes at level 10 though. Yeah, level 10, level 15. 8, 9, 10, 15. So, no. So, you see how I call in, um, like, for example, when I did that stupid little orbital strike? Um, so, when I call in the machine gun, that's the machine gun drops from the ceiling and then I get to pick it up. If I call in this one, this is where it calls in the little Gatling turret that is next to me. So, as you level up, you can get better things. Like, here's a Gatling sentry. There's a mortar sentry. There's a guard dog. It's a little drone that flies with you with a gun. And then shoots with you. Then you've got the auto cannon sentry. Big fucking bullets. You've got a rocket sentry. An EMS sentry. And then you've got the Patriot exosuit. That one. Then... Now that's only that was only under the robotics. Underneath engineering, you've got the anti-personnel minefield. Look what it does. It spits out mines all over the place. Meaning everything runs over it. The mines detonate. Then you've got this one, and I want this one really badly. I'm actually gonna purchase it now. A supply pack. It means I might be able to carry. Sorry. <coughs> it means I might be able to carry. More supplies on my actual back. Pretty decent. You've got grenade launcher, lance, and you've got incendiary mines. So it does the same thing. Just instead of exploding. It's like napalm. And you've got a different gun, the arc thrower. So, 
supply boxes containing ammunition with a backpack that allows the user to distribute boxes to fellow hull divers. Now I'm wondering, can that be dropped on the floor and then I pick it up myself? Or can it only be distributed to friends? I'll have to like Google that and find out because I don't want to spend the 4,000 out of the 6,000 that I've got trying to figure that out. Then you've got stuff like this. Put this down, it creates a full-on fucking bubble shield. Think of engineer. I create my own little fucking shield that I can shoot out of. Then I can put down a HMG that I can mount. Pretty fucking order. awesome. But then comes the cool stuff. Like the orbital cannons. Here's an orbital Gatling barrage. So as you can see, it like just fucking shoots down in the ceiling. Orbital air burst strike. A hundred and twenty millimeter HE barrage. As you can see, fucks up everything. But I imagine if you're close to that, it's gonna fuck your shit up as well. The three hundred and eighty millimeter HE barrage. So, don't stand anywhere close to it. Orbital walking barrage. Orbital laser. And then a rail cannon strike. And then you've got aircraft. You've got an Eagle strafing run, like a A 10 Warthog. The Eagle airstrike, cluster bombs, napalm strike, which is pretty cool, a jump pack. Eagle smoke strike, 120 to 110 millimeter rocket pods, and then 500 kilogram bomb. Pretty decent. Now, good sir, this is only under stratagems. Next to that, I've still got ship modules. These ship modules are things that support the stratagems. So, for example, under um, Patriotic Administration Center, the first upgrade, if I've got 60 common um what the fuck are they called samples um support weapons deploy with maximum number of carryable magazines so right now my machine gun can hold two magazines when it drops it only comes with one magazine this upgrade will make sure that when it drops it comes with both magazines so i'll be full ammo straight away the next one after that Decreases support weapon stratagem cooldown by 10%. So if it took a minute, it'll now only take 50 seconds to cool down. And then hand cards decreases the cooldown for all backpack stratagems by 10%. So that's jump pack, supply pack, guard dogs, ballistic shield. And then like over here, there's a whole bunch of stuff that just changes cooldowns. Increase ammo for all century stratagems by 50%. Decent one. But yes, I definitely want to start leaning into these things. And one of the first things I'm going to have to do some research on is the supply pack to see if I can refill myself with that. But I think one of the cool ones that I'm going to have are these. It's Guard Dog. So I've got the little guy with me. And then the other one was... Yeah, the shield generator pack. So it's a backpack that I wear that creates a little shield around it. Could be pretty badass to have that. But now also the question is, I don't know how many of these things at once. Yeah, the guard dog seems handy for solo runs. Definitely. And it's got a 480 second cooldown. Six, 12, 18, 24, four times two. That's an eight minute cooldown. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, but so you can see there's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot that can be done.
and the way you play the game. And I'm hoping that as you level up and as you become more powerful, that the harder... I'm hoping, really, really hoping that it's one of those games that, like right now, medium is difficult for me. I'm hoping that as I level up and maybe get some more combos, get some more upgrades to not only my gear but to my weapons etc etc that medium becomes the new easy and then i can then move on to challenging as a solo runner that's my hope but that i need to test however one more thing i want to check to see if i've got a new rank title no nope, i've still only got space cadet play a card Victory pose, emote, voice pack, body type, lean, brawny. Nope. But one thing I do want to do is change out my suit. Because that suit is not worth it. So I gain a lot of speed. Provides higher armor rating. Yeah, let's go with the black one on the right arm. Helmet. Yeah, let's stick with this one. Cape, I'm going to go back for the shorter one. You see, that's just it. I'm hoping that that's the case as well. I'm hoping that as I start moving on to... Like, for example, like on the very first level, you get access to a shotgun. The, ax the shotgun does 4 or 5 damage. 16 capacity, recoil 120, fire rate 80. Cool. That 4 or 5 damage is quite nice, because if we compare that to what my current machine gun does, uh, it does 55 damage per bullet. Obviously, it shoots a lot faster. But now if we take that shotgun doing 405 and then we go down to the very next shotgun we get that's this one that only does 330 the capacity is even less that capacity is 16 capacity is 13 recoil is 55 on this wall recoil is 120 okay so the recoil on this thing is high and the fire rate is 50 the fire rate on this one is 300, okay, so it shoots a lot faster, so it's an automatic shotgun. I'm hoping they balance out. I'm really, really hoping they balance out. That's a nice helmet. That's a very nice helmet. Is another shotgun. Another shotgun. Looks like they like their fucking shotguns. Energy based. Well, that's the thing. This is one of those games that I believe is going to stay popular and stay active for a very long time because of shit that's happening like this. Like, as you can see, now there's only 306,000 people playing, but now instead of being at 5.8%, we're now at 6.2%. I didn't do that 1%. That is people that have been playing this. So we have got 6 days and 15 hours amongst 306,000 people. Because obviously people come on and offline to try and liberate this sector. And if you get bored of that, you move over to this sector. As you can see, now remember that's only 306,000 people in that sector. In this sector fighting against the automatons, the terminators, there's 61,400 people fighting there trying to liberate this sector and the nice thing is all of these open spaces it looks like we're constantly going to be fighting struggling for um, control over space and with events like this going on because these missions that we just completed activating these towers that's just not an, a normal mission that you can just choose this is an event that's happening so i think with this kind of stuff taking place and with all of this shit progressing 
I think there's going to be a lot of focus on this game for quite a while. It's just how repetitive it becomes or doesn't become. I mean, for example, I'm all the way out here in the Hanja sector. If I zoom in here, there's planets. But it says 100% liberated, not because we've actually fought there, but just because there's no monsters over there. If I want to... Okay, I can't even do that because we have to fight on the front. You can't just jump into the middle of the fight that's happening back there. You have to fight on the fronts that we've got. So currently, the only front that exists for the bugs is this front. That is for the um, towers that we got to create. But for the um, Terminators, there's three fronts happening. The Trigon Sector, the Cesar Sector, and the Severian Sector. The Severian Sector, you can see we only just started. 0.0% liberated. 84% liberated on that. So it makes it interesting. Now I want to see if I... S oh... Fuck. I just realized something. And this is going to make it very difficult for me. Look at the bottom of the screen. And at the quick play, which is tutorial. So under trivial, easy, and medium, I only get common samples. I have to play on challenging to get the orange samples. And the shit thing is, if I show you back here... Uh, let's go to my ship. Some of the upgrades I want right at the bottom. Um, no, 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 no. That's price. And where did I see some of them? No, that's just my ship modules. Sorry, yeah. If I want the high quality lubricant, sentries rotate towards new targets faster. Sorry, let's over this one. Dynamic tracking. Reduces deployment time of all sentry stratagems. I need 20 of those orange ones. So that means I will not have a choice other than to start running challenging runs if I want to get these common, these, I don't know what they call them, it's probably not common um, samples, it's probably uncommon samples. But, so it's going to force me to, one of two things is going to happen with this game that I'm a little bit scared of. One, I'm not going to be able to get stronger to be able to fight on harder difficulties, which is going to potentially force me to have to start running with people. And that's the biggest concern I've got. Especially for somebody that's streaming. I can't trust what the other people are going to say and or do on stream. Yes, it does. Very much so. So, just like Risk of Rain, if you do a solo run, the enemies are capped at how many can spawn per level as things get harder. If you're two people, it's doubled. If you're three people, it's tripled. If you're four people, it's quadrupled. It's to try and balance out the op -ness that comes. Just like this, the more people you are, the more enemies there are, the harder it becomes. But also, obviously, there's more firepower, so it balances itself out. Once we get the DCS established, we can start putting the bugs back on the farm, where they belong. With but yeah. So I'm going to be interested to see how it goes. I'm hoping it gets to the point where I actually get strong enough where I can do challenging missions myself. And that it becomes more so of do it myself and get the samples that I need. Or will it be a case of you're going to be forced to play with people on this? And this is one of my concerns. One of my biggest concerns that I've got with games that rely solely on co-op. Games like Sea of Thieves, this potentially, because I still need to see how it's going to upgrade me. Um, it's like, I don't know if you saw on the one map that I was, there was one door that I couldn't open because it required two people to open the door. That automatically makes it so that a solo run is unviable.
And that also unfortunately means that this game is going to have a shorter life cycle than other games in my personal opinion. Because when the game starts dying out or when better titles start getting released and people start slowly but surely like they always do, start migrating away from a game, trying to find a group of people to play with might potentially be difficult. Right now, everybody's playing it. The game's brand new. Everybody's talking about it. It's all over social media. It's just more so a case about what's going to happen in a year from now. So, I'll stick around. I'll invest some time and I'll see how it goes. Okay. But I think, Raj, I think that's me for the evening. Um, if stays popular for as long as friends who play together want to stick together. That's true. That's very, very true. But like, always you're going to have new titles that come out you're going to have new titles from big developers that do more that do better work and people are going to slowly gravitate towards that yeah okay well i actually think that's it for me this evening it's interesting so far definitely just interested to see where it goes and how much limitation gets placed on me because i want to do it solo and how quickly it's going to be before I'm forced to run co-ops. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But that's me for the evening. Thank you very much to everybody that joined the stream. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And thank you again to our most recent follower. We have reached the 15 mile mark. Now we are trying to go for 50 followers. It is a bit of a hurdle to get there. But I do believe we can. I am going to ask that everybody who follows me or watches. Please reach out to family, friends discord service that you're part of on your social media reach out wherever you can try spread the word let's try and get the community to grow get the channel to grow that way i can provide better content for y'all <laughs> but apart from that i hope you have a lovely evening and or day depending on where you're from look after yourselves and be safe and until next time bye bye